Okay guys, it's time for another Habs News Update here, and in today's video, we're gonna have a little chat about all the cuts that have been made over the past couple of days, as hey, a lot of these guys are getting tossed back up into the attic. We're also gonna have a chat about a goalie that the Habs recently picked up from waivers, and I'm gonna give my thoughts on the Sammy Niku hit. But first, shh, John Lou. Wait your turn. Before we begin, if you're a fan of the Habs, or you want to see Michael Pozzetta arm wrestle Austin Matthews, then please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload a ton of hockey content and would really enjoy having some more of you grasshoppers tag along for the ride. Now, first up on the list here, Friday night, when the Habs got spanked by the Sins during a preseason matchup, we also saw Sammy Niku get into action, huh? And you know, the poor guy was trying to make a good first impression, he spent hours before the game working on his hair with Michael Pozzetta, you know, they were doing it together, it was nice. But things did not exactly turn out the way he wanted. Because he got caught on the wrong side of the rink a few times, which led to some odd band rushes. And then to make matters worse, Josh Norris comes in hard on the four chick and absolutely buries him into the boards. Okay, from the numbers. Do charm over there would later confirm that Niku did suffer a concussion as a result from this hit. And, uh, yeah, he's gonna be out for a while, which is pretty shitty luck for Sammy Niku. <sighs> now, I know, a lot of you guys are wanting to see Josh Norris's head on a pike right now, but let's put this into some perspective here, alright? This is Josh Norris. It's not Matt Cook, it's not Rafi Torres, it's not Charles Manson. This guy had like a dozen penalty minutes last season in 56 games. His James Bond gamer score says he's mostly harmless. And he's not known as a piece of shit, okay? This is what I'm trying to get out here. Plus, if you look at the fact that Niku turned at the last second, <sighs> I don't know. I'm a huge Habs fan. I hate the sense. But I'm gonna give Norris over there the benefit of a doubt on this one. And I never like to see a guy get hurt like the way Niku did. But if that was Arturi Lekkinen hitting Thomas Shabbat like that into the corner, you know, finishing his check, and Shabbat turned at the last second, a lot of us would be singing a different tune. A lot of you guys are probably gonna disagree with me on this one, but hey, that's just how the cookie crumbles here. And if we all agreed on everything, it'd be pretty boring, wouldn't it? Anyway, moving on. Let's talk about the guys that got the axe from the team over the past couple of days. First up, on October the 1st, we got Lucas Vedemo, Alexandra Fortin, and Jan Mysak have been cut from training camp. Okay, so the legend of Mysak has been put back onto the shelf just for now. On to the next cuts that were made. The Canadians announced that they have cut forward Danik Martel and goaltender Kevin Poulain from training camp and assigned them to the Laval Rocket. Poof! Another pair of guys gone. Rick the model Martel. Get out of here. And now, finally, the most recent players that were released from training camp is Baddock, Dolphin, McNiven, and D. And these guys have to go through waivers before they get to Laval. Followed by Bolden, Bisson, and Schweinman. So there you go. The roster is slowly taking shape. Anyhow, the Habs also claimed goaltender Samuel Montembeau from Florida. And I may have butchered his name. He's a 24-year-old Florida prospect. His numbers aren't exactly amazing, but he does add some depth to the goaltending department. And goaltending, as we all know, is a weird position, right? Some of these guys don't really do shit until they're like 30. So you never know. A lot of people are speculating this could potentially mean that Carey Price is going to be out longer than expected. I haven't heard anything confirming this, but I really do hope that this is not true, okay? Because jeez, that would suck. Anyway, guys, that does it for this Habs News update. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down there in the dirty, rotten comment section. And hey, I'll see you next time.